Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. And we're gonna continue where we last left off and we'll start by making pheasant supplies for farming. We're gonna start the construction down here. This will be a great town, to be honest. It's starting to feel more and more like a town. I, I kept wondering if at some point we will have the ability, maybe, to make this into houses. That would be pretty interesting. Let's see, we just constructed this. Try to talk to the tanner, see if that was enough. Uh, anybody seen the tanner later? I guess there it is. There she is. Your farm is finished. I guess you'll also need a cow and hands. That's right. The big tournament of Bowman approaches and my son and his friends hope to participate in it, wearing their new costumes. I'll try to take a quick care of it quickly. Rose could sell me a cow if I ask her persistently enough. And as for hands, maybe the weird house with the egg basket will be some sort of help, somehow. Okay, well let's try to take those and bring them over. Without any further ado, use our teleportation ability and we'll get to the dead horse. Let's see, I guess we'll have to meet the writer at night. And we also need to bring for Adric some beer. For the merchant, so how was dinner? The dinner was magnificent, we have gained some support in the royal council. I think I know a way to gain the royal council's full support. When you're ready, my friend, I'll be glad to share my plan with you. Okay, so we need 90 to bring him to the cathedral and Salty Fork. So we just have to convince Miss Charm to help us. We have a body. I guess I want to talk to the people in the swamp, in the swamp, in the farms first. Let's see. I'll try to knock on doors here. Buy hands for 50 silver. That is done. We don't even know who's here, but I guess they're selling it to us. We haven't done anything with fishing in a while. Hmm. Well, let's see. Wait, her buy a cow for one gold, sure. Rose, how much does one of your cows cost? Keeper, would you ever sell one of your best friends? I understand. Okay, I can offer you one whole gold for a cow. You could offer a thousand. That wouldn't change a thing. I love them so. Mm. Have you ever f heard the phrase, if you love someone, set them free? Nope. Who said it? It sounds so beautiful and wise. I don't know who said it, but yes, it is very wise. Do you know any other wise phrases about love? Tell me. Life is the flower and love is the honey. Love is smoke made with the fume of sighs. And to love a cow means to sell it for one gold. Oh, that's so wise and so touching. Of course I'll sell it. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, does he know anything? Oh, I guess he doesn't. He only sells some pig. There is another memory here. I would like to check this out. It's a bit loud for me. Let's give me a second so I can do this. Yes. Thank you. Tress was napping beside the fire, surrounded by hundreds of origami paper rabbits. Hmm, this was a recent. Tress was already old. Fori and some man from the town are watching from a distance. The man looks like a doctor. The doctor leaves, Cory suddenly rushes over to Tress, gathered all the rabbits and throws them into the fire. Tress awakens, shouts and burns his hands trying to save the rabbits from the fire. What is that about? There's another memory here. Oh! Coco, okay, let's, let's check this memory out as well. The Lord Commander and some 
Mountain Fort soldiers were here. The Lord passed sentence and they hung someone. Yorick. That's how he died. What the hell? No, they hanged two Yoricks. Yorick had a twin brother? Okay. What's going on around here? Lots of swords and armor surrounded Kukul and Snake who are bargaining violently. A crowd of gypsies come up armed with knives. Kukul runs away. Snake and the gypsy baron shake hands. Snake takes part of the stuff away and the gypsies take the rest. It, it, this this world feels <laughs> it feels like the the dark world of cyberpunk everybody's doing bees a lot of bad things are happening there's little morality going around very interesting very interesting okay well what do i want to do now let's if we're gonna take a look we have to ask snake for help so i am going to go first in the sweet house sweet old house and we'll have to go here in the basement like what's this let me guess now you need an inspiring bronze statue the size of my church or maybe tons of political correct literature for baby donkeys. Oh, I know, you need a golden sarcophagus with a glass cover for every donkey who participated in the revolution. <laughs> Nothing of that sort. The thing is, we failed, my dear comrade. Hmm, I never seem, seen him so oppressed. He's about to cry. What happened? The rat seized power in our post office and declared military dictatorship. And now the donkey situation is even worse than it was before the revolution. So what are you going to do? The only thing I'm any good at, bringing you corpse and eating carrots. Hmm, maybe it's not as bad as you think. My carrots are quite tasty and... Oh, poor donkey. Can we not be friends? Let's see. This one has it. Oh, okay. It's still good. Let's treat this one first. Let's take this one and bring it into the freezer. We're going to take the fat out of it. Can you even remember that this is what we started with? Us being a graveyard keeper. That feels like so long ago. I think we should be able to make a 300 quality graveyard here if we just throw in some monuments. The grave has seven. So we can make a marble cross too. And I'm going to make it a one of these simple fences. This is another seven here. And I will throw in one of these angels. And the stone gray fence. This one, I guess we can add another three pointer. Almost to 400. For this one, I guess going for a simple gravestone could be beautiful enough. And I'm just going to add a stone grave fence. For you, something a bit more impressive maybe. Like a stone cross too. There we have it. 406 quality. It is, it does look beautiful. We've done great work here. Snake should be around already. And thus I'm thinking it could be time to meet him, but maybe let's... Let's take this body out. Let's see if we can do anything with it. Removing the heart maybe. That did remove some red points. 
We're gonna remove the stomach. Uh, no. So we're gonna put the, back the stomach. And the heart. Let's eat the bread. Make some space in the inventory. And the heart. Okay. And we'll extract the blood. And then we can also extract the fat. At this point, even this 5 quality body, I think it's going to be good for us. We're tired, so I'd like to meet Snake. Nice. Oh, we lost a point already. It's unfortunate, but I think we'll be fine like this too. Okay, that's that. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Yeah, but we're gonna go to sleep fully fed so that we don't have to sleep for long and we can get to speak to Snake. Because he's probably going to give us a mission in order to steal that necklace. Okay, gold quality beer. Let's make sure we're not doing any of that. We're not selling it for a batch. Mr. Snake, could you help me with a bit of a task? Ask him to steal an amulet, let's see. Snake, first of all, thanks for everything you've done for me. Don't try to flatter me, you sound pathetic. What do you want? I need you to steal an amulet from the lighthouse keeper. Are you up for it? I'm not sure. That guy stinks of raw fish, and I'm allergic to fish scales. I'm afraid I must refuse. We need 90 reputation with him for him to do that. I guess we will have to go into the dungeons, guys. And we will have to do that soon. Tomorrow the Inquisitor is around again. I have nothing to give him right now. Uh, let's throw all of these here. We have ancient shackles. I'll leave behind the stories. We have some bottle of fermented apple, some bread. We have plenty of flyers here. I guess I'm gonna leave behind some of these. Oil. Maybe I'll rearrange it soon. Let's talk to Jerry, because now we have the donkey hair. Maybe he'll tell us how to make a way to... No, dig up the ancient shackle somewhere between the graveyard and the stuff. And we did find that. Maybe we'll have to check it on later. Let's go to the refugee camp first. We'll need to make the quality... What were they called? Hmm. Chickens and cows, great. Let's talk to the tanner. The cow and the hens are waiting for you. Really? That's wonderful and it will be so useful for our community. Actually, I have some wonderful news. My son and his friends just collected enough money to pay off their debts. But like you said before, they're going to give the stolen money to the poor. Uh, they were, but then they decided that would be too much harm to the country's economic system and they started robbing poor people too. Well, okay, it's good that they now can repair their debts and return to their normal lives. You know, they decided it's better to remain forest thugs. The pay is better, 
and the girls love it. Aha, uh -huh. see. So how do they plan on sp spending the stolen money now? Cards, wine, ladies. Hello. Nevertheless, I'm very grateful to you. Let me share with you some of my skills. Let's see. Alchemist bag. These are like recipes. Farmer's bag. Yeah. And fisherman bag. Let's trade. What do these do? Fisherman bag, alchemist bag, farmer bag and tool bag. Potion bag, builder's bag. Are they like some sort of special bags that all different types of tools? Let's get a builder's bag. What does this mean? Open. Oh, so in a builder's bag we can throw in builder materials. Okay. I guess I can understand it. Can't move it around in here. From my very own inventory. Okay. Well, I don't know what to say about that. I guess we'll bring five chisels, quality chisels to her. So we'll go to the sweet home and I think we have enough sticks and everything else to make the lands. Let's see, where were we? I was making lenses, right? For the lens we needed the oil because we needed polishing paste. Let's go back for the oil. Maybe we'll make a bit more booze. And there we go. Take the booze over to the tavern. We have some goods here being taken over to the merchant. We'll take the oil back. That bag can be pretty useful. Like if I think about it now. It does sound like a pretty good idea now, doesn't it? Mm, we should have here some beer for Horadric, right? Maybe not yet? Not yet. Let's see. Polishing paste. We need at least four. We might need more river sand. We'll see, depends on the rate of success that we will get. Four glass. What happened to the glass? Is it not around here anymore? Did we leave that in the basement as well? Seems like that. Now I want to say one more thing, it is the middle of the episode, I remember that I said that my plan is to post these videos from Monday to Friday, like this is my new plan. I haven't received um, feedback in the sense that, um, I don't know, you want to see them more often or... Uh, you don't really like the idea. So um, just take that into consideration, make sure you're going to be hurt if you have a different thought and you want to see them more often and let me know. If not, I am totally okay with it, I am actually happier to do it this way because plenty of this side work will be done over the weekend if I have free time um, and I don't have to record an episode so I don't know 
I, I guess as far as I am concerned, it does help me more to bring better content than otherwise. Oh, uh, let's see, some steel chisels we need. Let's make four of them. Okay, and now we'll be using some of these in order to try to make a few golden chisels. And it's going pretty well right now. I have to say, I don't really enjoy the way that you can't use one of these chisels for lower quality work. I would have liked to do for them to work no matter what. At least I can understand a lower quality chisel not working for a higher quality statue, but the other way around for a higher quality chisel to not work with a lower quality statue, uh, that seems a bit... I don't know, it doesn't really feel like... It's that great. Mm, or well thought out. Okay. Well, we don't have to speak to these two people. I guess for a while we will be set to go into the dungeons. So we'll give the chisels away. And we can leave behind in our storage. If we have space, we don't have space. But we can leave a few more things. Maybe eat the bread just to free up space. And in here we could also build a brand new chest. Another trunk on this side. Okay, and I will throw in these. Whatever we don't need. And I think that is it for now. To get to level 10, we need it, I think, the Hunter's Medallion. A revolutionary message. I think that's about it. Let's check a few other things out. If I'm going to the known NPCs, make the pagan amulet to summon the spirit. So we have a mug of beer. I want to see what does it take to make a pagan amulet. Probably made either here or in the jewelers, right? No, Pagan Amulet of Spirit. We have beeswax, donkey hair, and we just need intestines. So we're going here. One of these. Okay, so Pagan Amulet of Spirit Summoning, let's talk to Jerry. Mm, he doesn't say. Bring the Pagan Amulet to the final room of the 8th floor to the, of the dungeon, okay. I guess that's about it. Meet me at night at the sea cliffs near the mountain fort.
Okay, well, for right now, we're gonna do it this way. Use this. Go to the refugee camp. We'll speak to her. Give the chisels. I hope that this will help you see an end to the threats from your dead husband's relatives. Hmm, quality things. They'll be really helpful in my affairs. And about my husband's relative? Their threats don't scare me anymore. My own relatives will take care of them during my husband's funeral. If you know what I mean. It seems like I understood that. By the way, how do you make your special gravestones? Wouldn't you like to know my secrets? Hmm. Okay, but don't tell anybody or... Or come to the next holiday, something nasty will happen to me. Yeah, I got it. Let's see. So now we can get a few recipes. Oh, look at this marble sculpture 9. This is another marble sculpture that we can now make. Like, this is something that we can make now. Shall we get these recipes? We have the gold, it seems. Let's use it. Nice. I don't know if we bought them already, some of them. But I think at this point, if we're looking at technologies... Yeah, we have everything here. Here we will need... We will get a few more bags. We'll try to learn how to make these bags. I guess there's not much in the way of technology left. Okay, well, next I am going to use the teleporting stone to go to Horadric. Give him a beer. By thunder, you are a fine brewer indeed. You know what? Go upstairs and take the stroll, scroll from my table. It's my secret project, honey beer. I think you might be able to do it. I think now we could make mead. Oh, yeah, this is his old arm. So that's not like a parallel universe, it's history. Where? Oh, and there are, are the three witches. Special beer. Let's see. Is this? Yeah, we can create mead now. Shall we go at home? Yeah, we'll probably leave adventuring for next time. As we do not have many minutes left. So I am going at home. Go in the basement. He keeps making mugs of beer. I'm gonna throw this beer inside here and we can ask him to take the beer over. Let's see, a mug of meat from hops and honey. And we can make better meat by doing this. Pretty cool. Here we'll need to bring some more grapes. And that's what I'll do. I'll go for grapes and when the night comes, we're gonna look for the writer. See what happened to him. Okay, can we build more? We can do a marketing campaign if we brought in some flyers. Maybe we should maximize this trading equipment as well. We have plenty of iron, so I would like to make some iron goods. Mm, maybe we'll go here to the miller. And let's buy a few more of these hops. 
and we don't have the animatron enough to see what the Miller is up to. So here we are. Okay, still making good, good stuff. We're going back to making the gold hops. Nice. And now we can collect the grapes. And I will use this little porter to go Mountain Fort, somewhere around here, they said. Let's try to talk to him. Nope, he doesn't want anything. Let's see, is the writer around here? Where does he say he wants to meet? Meet me at night at sea cliffs near the mountain fort. These look like the sea cliffs. Who is he around here? Or am I missing something? It's the middle of the night now. Um, let's go here at the bottom maybe? Get some sound? Nope. Ah, there he is. Wagner, where are you? Oh, stay where you are, I have a sword. Come down, it's me, Wagner. What happened to you? The fly agaric infusion? It seems the legend only reports half of the effects. It's written the greatest song in the world, but the deeper I looked into my soul, the more I turned into this. And when I finished the song, this is what I became. Miss Charm will never love me now. Oh, Wagner, I'm so sorry. It's still worth it. Here is the song. Who's there? It's a monster, he's trying to kill this poor guy. No, we just talk. We were just talking. Grab him. Let me go, I'm the son of the Lord Commander. Drag him into the mountain fort. Like he became a satyr. Is this like the Greek legends? So I have the song now. Does it say that I can save him or something? Mm, no, doesn't really look like it. Okay, maybe we'll have a rescue operation later on. Let's try to talk to this guy, see if he says anything useful. What is this place? The mountain fort? Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, this is all the time that we have for today. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And this will be what? Friday? No, this will be uh, Thursday. So this will be Thursday the 31st, hope you have a wonderful end of the year with the little celebration that we can do right now. And I look forward to starting 2021 with another episode of Graveyard Keeper and then we'll continue it from Monday. For the moment, I thank you very much for watching and I wish you all a wonderful day.